Is your craft booth cluttered with all of your social media marketing materials? We took everything you see here and consolidated it into one social media QR code card reader holder. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? A welcome back. You like to do it, build it, or make it. So do we. And we have new videos each week. This week, we're doing a social media QR code sign that has a place for my credit card reader. Over time, we have gathered all of these things that we put on our checkout booth because you always need your business cards so that folks can find you again, but they'll sometimes put that in their pocket and lose it. So sometimes we offer the postcard because it's a little bit bigger, a little more difficult to lose, and it's got a coupon code on it. If we're close to home, we like to advertise our workshop space, so we always have our brochures on our table. We always have our Venmo little plastic thingy on our table if it hasn't blown off yet. Yeah. And we have our square or credit card reader and then our QR code sign that has seen some better days. Right. This was last year's attempt to try and put a lot of information in a small space. But over time, we have carried this thing with us for the past year. And you might not be able to see it from there, but it's a little bit beat up. It has been chunked in that wagon or in a cart after every show. And I think we can make it better. I think, as a matter of fact, I want to consolidate everything that you see here into one little checkout stand and save tons of space on our table. So a couple of weeks ago, we did an upgrade to our craft booth checkout counter. And I don't want to move old furniture into <laughs> a new house. So we're going to upgrade something that will kind of consolidate all this stuff, but still be really nice looking. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We needed some finished birch. This is our, this is gonna be our base piece, like our top of the base piece. We wanted to keep it looking like the rest of our booth and the standees and the checkout counter. Yeah, so. keeping the same aesthetic. And of course, this time, we're gonna use some acrylic. Uh, I wanted to give it a little more pizzazz and I haven't had an opportunity to add acrylic. So I've got some pink mirrored acrylic. I've got some blue that's going to be part of our logo, white, black, all part of our logo. We have some quarter inch MDF. You won't even see this piece. This is going to be like the base foot. This is really just to give it some weight and for something the card reader can sit on. And then we're going to glue it all together with this All Craft. Our friends over at All Craft sent us their multi glue, which we can be used for the acrylic the birch, the MDF, and we're really excited to give this a try. We haven't tried it yet, so. One stop shop for glue. You'll see we're gonna open the package. Step two, we're gonna make our design. Like I said, we're gonna do all of the design work inside Xtool Creative Space. But before we get into that, I need to take some measurements of our material. That way I'll know how big to make the tab and how wide to make the slots so that the top piece will be able to slide into the bottom piece. With a nice snug fit. With a nice snug fit. Like that. So I'll need to know how deep to make my tabs. So I'm gonna measure my two base pieces. It's gonna be my black acrylic and my MDF. I want my lovely assistant to take some notes. <laughs> so this is quarter inch MDF, but it isn't always 0.25. Sometimes it's, it's 0.23. It's like it's never a... 0.25. <laughs> All right, what do we got? What do we got? <laughs> All right, so this one just made me a liar. It's 0.25. <laughs> of course it is. Of course it is. And our eighth inch black acrylic is actually 0.126. All right, so that's how long I need to make my tabs. And now I need to know how wide to make my slots. So this is going to go into the base, and I'm not gonna use my calipers to measure this one, because then I'll have to do some math. Instead, I'm gonna use some of these kerfing tools that we cut out, so I'll just be able to slide this piece in and check what my kerfing is. This is supposed to be quarter inch, right? But I'm down here at 0 0.23. Too Ooh, loose. You definitely want this to be able to stand nice and snug and tight, yeah. Like the other one we just did. So I think I'm down here at like... Oh, I can see gapage ooh, there. Yeah, I'm way down here. I'm like at 0.21. And even that looks a little loose. How about one of these? I didn't go that low. 
Let's see what it, let's see what it measures. No, oh, it's uh, 0. 0.196. This isn't even close to quarter inch. Here, so this has a 0. 0.1. Oh no, one three is going to be too small. All right, I'll actually have to do the math. <laughs> so, this is 0. 0.197. Uh -huh. Now we'll, we'll do the same thing with our acrylic here, with my little tool. So this is 8th inch, so you have a different tool for 8th inch, right? Yeah, there's a different tool for 8th inch. I don't know, that's pretty good. That's not bad. I'm going to go with... Yep, that's pretty good. I'm going to say 0.115 is going to be our tab size. All right, I think we got our measurements. I'll meet you in creative space. Here we are in Xtool Creative Space. We have the basic shapes for our stander already laid out. On the bottom left, this will be the base made out of the MDF, and it'll have slots for the two panels that'll slide in there. On the bottom right, this will be the acrylic piece. This is the top layer of the base. And again, it'll also have the slots for the sanders. The back slot is for the pegboard piece. This looks like it matches our pegboard sanders, and we're gonna make this out of that mirrored acrylic. The forward slot will be out of the birch, and this matches the look and feel of everything else in our booth, including the checkout counter. In front of that, there's going to be a little slot where we'll put our postcards between the front birch panel and the, the slot here. That's going to also be out of birch. We're gonna put our postcards there. In front of that, you'll see two slots where our business cards will sit in between these two slots. Bottom left is a simple rectangle that will have our card reader dock will sit right there. It'll always have a home now. And then of course, we're going to add the QR code for Venmo. That's the yellow box. And then on our uh, logo panel up there. We're going to do our logo out of acrylic and add a QR code for our link tree. So you can find all of our social medias. Now let's add our tabs and adjust our slots. All of that math we did earlier is going to come in handy right now. Well, all the measurements we took. So we're going to measure how deep we need the tab to be. So this so. is what's going to go on the bottom of the panel to slide into the base. Correct. So we know the MDF is 0.25. All right, so 0.25 And plus. the black acrylic on top will be 0 0.126. 0 0.126. And okay, there you go. That's how deep my tab needs to be to get into the materials. That's both of the base materials. I'm not going to try to line this up or butt it up against the bottom. I'm just going to line my squares up in the middle. So I'm going to then say times two. All right, so 0 0.752 is how big my tab needs to be or how deep my tab needs to be. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to draw a rectangle. So I know my rectangle is six inches across. That's how deep my tab is going to be. 0.596. Yeah, that was, that was real close. And then it needs to be 0. 0.752, 0. 0.752 yeah. tall. I'm just going to go ahead and but while I'm here, I'm going to curve the edge a little bit, just around those edges so it'll slide in a little better. We'll say 0. 0.2. Just give it a little roundedness, just a little bit of something. Now let's zoom in and we'll line it up. I can, can hold control and use my scroll key to zoom in. Uh, I'm going to make a Whoops, I'm going to make a copy of this thing before I weld it. So copy, control C, control V. I'll move it over here. That'll be that tab here in a second. I'm just going to line this up with the center of my tab and it kind of snaps to the center, snaps right in. I'm going to grab both of these objects, my tab. I'm going to hold shift and then grab the backer piece and I'm gonna align these center. Oh, that was pretty good center anyway. That snapping worked. Yeah, now I'll grab them both again, and we'll go to Unite. Unite. There's my tab. All right. If I hold my 
if I hold my spacebar key, I get this little hand. And then I can press my scroll key and drag my canvas over. All right, now let's do this tab. This tab is four inches. So let's grab this tab and make it four inches. I'm gonna grab everything in here, make sure it's grouped. Let's move this out of the way. Grab all of this stuff. Group, control G. I'll snap this in the middle, grab them both. Align horizontal, make sure nothing moved. I'll grab this again, we'll say ungroup. Grab both the tab and the backer. Oops, before I do that, let me copy, control C, control V. I'm gonna need this guy over here. All right, now I'll grab both of these guys and unite. I'm gonna use this. What's this? It's uh, 0.15, all right? 1.5. 1.5. We'll make these 1.5. I'll grab this guy, snap them in the center, copy, paste, snap into the center, copy, paste, Snap it in the center. I'll grab all of these. We'll say uh, horizontal align, unite, unite, unite. All right, let's replace, oops. Let's replace these yellow squares with our QR codes now. So for this one, I'll come over here. We'll go applications. Generate QR code. I have my link tree. Hold on. Here's my link tree. Share. Copy. Paste. Save. Now what's this? Uh, this square is just over two inches. Let's make this one just over two inches. Get rid of this one now. Delete. All right, let's do our Venmo real quick. I gotta stop moving stuff. All right, we'll go over to Venmo. I already did a bit.ly. So I'll copy my bit.ly. That way my Venmo QR code doesn't get crazy. Otherwise it'll look like a Venmo QR code. Save. And I'll just grab these. Grab these two. <laughs> and I'll make sure they're aligned. All right, now let's work on our slots real quick. So this is going to be the acrylic in the back. That's that pink acrylic and... What was that measurement? <clears throat> that measurement was 0.116. You're gonna need your calculator again. Oh, okay. Because we didn't have a small enough slot. Oh, that's and right. And curving. So we're gonna do 0.116. Mm -hmm. 0.116. And then we're gonna subtract the width of our laser beam, which is typically 0 0.01. Minus 0 0.01. All right, so it's... We'll copy this. That's a small little. Wait. So the height is going to be. I am. I'm ready. All right. Let's work on our slots and make the slots the width to accept the correct material. So the back piece is the pink acrylic. And yes. that slot would be, oh, our little gauge didn't go small enough, right? 
Right. So that measured at 0 0.116. 0 0.116. And because we didn't have the correct slot, you could just do the math. You want to subtract. Minus. Yes, the width of the laser beam because it's kind of adding a little bit to it. So I want to subtract 0 0.01, which is the width of your laser beam, and that gives us 0 0.106. 0 0.106. All right, so let's make these slots. We'll make this top slot high. Let's uncheck the aspect ratio. Ooh, that's a, that's a tiny slot. It sure is. All right, and then the front part's gonna be... That's the birch, and we're gonna do the same for that. We're gonna use 0.197 minus 0.01 for the beam gives us 0.187. Oh, you already did the math. I already did it, yeah. So what was it? 0.187. And then this one is 0.187. And then these are going to be out of birch also, the little tabs that hold the cards in the... Yes. All right, so that is also... 0.187. Here. Oops, I forgot to uncheck the aspect ratio. Uncheck the aspect ratio. 0.187. Now I'm going to copy this. Grab this one. Uncheck the aspect ratio. Uncheck the aspect ratio. All right, I think we're all set. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. We're gonna jump back into creative space, separate everything into its own canvas, and then send it over here to the Xtool P2. Back to Xtool Creative Space. We're gonna break out all of our materials and put them on their own canvas. So the pink acrylic will get a canvas the MDF will get a canvas, the birch will get a canvas, etc. They all have their own cut settings, and by having multiple canvases, I can set each up to cut with their correct speed and power. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this guy. We'll say cut. I'll add a canvas, paste. And now this canvas, I'm gonna set to six millimeter MDF. Top one. Oh, there it is. Now I'm going to grab this bottom piece. Cut. We'll add another canvas. Paste. And this is the black acrylic? Yes. All right, some materials. There you go. Done. <laughs> Back up top. This was going to be out of the... Well, let's just move this one then. This is out of the pink. So we'll say cut. Add a canvas. Paste. And then we'll set this material to... 3 millimeter pink mirror acrylic. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. If you enjoy this type of content, join us over on Patreon where we offer more in-depth how-to tutorials for your laser. I'm going to say this is cut. We'll check our easy panel here. Easy set panel. Look at that. That's great. That's our settings. All right. We'll start with this one. We'll process it and we'll swap the materials as we swap the canvases. After we cut the base the first time, we realized that this slot right here was a little too tight. It's 0.187. We should have cut it in half. So we're going to go 0.192. I'm going to copy this and we'll make this slot 0.192. All right, let's go cut that. I just realized that I forgot the slots for the business card holder and the postcard in the bottom base. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this one, the top one. We'll paste it over here, slide it over. I'm going to get rid of the little logos on the bottom and the hole for the card reader. And we'll get rid of this one. 
All right, this is my good one. I'm gonna recut this one. This is, <laughs> third time's a charm. Step four, it's time to assemble it. We're gonna bring it all together with a little bit of this all craft glue. Yeah, so let's give it a try. For the wood, acrylic, all of it. Let's put this stuff on everything. <laughs> There's been a late stage change. Brought to me by Kim. She decided that, uh... Look, so what I was telling him, a couple of things we've learned. So with our QR code here, we decided to white spray paint over the masked acrylic. And it's just kind of peeling off. So I don't think that's gonna yeah. work. We're gonna change that. The other thing I told him is, once you put the square on here, you can no longer see it. It's too, this our square, we're using Shopify, is black. And so it just blends with the black acrylic and the customer is not going to see that this is what they need to use. We're going to so, have the same problem. We'll be looking for the square. Right. <laughs> exactly. So I told him, and he is not happy about it, that I want to recut this piece in white acrylic. So, and then I know that the black square will stand off the white acrylic. I really just didn't put this together until just now. Ah, put it together. <laughs> ah! <laughs> We recut the base piece out of white acrylic. I did end up engraving it. So we're gonna try to fill it with this acrylic pen. We're gonna use our Sharpie oil paint marker. And then we're gonna wipe off the excess using an Expo marker, a dry erase marker. We'll see if it works. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, this is scary, it's a mess. We also have some goof off, so we're going to try this too. See if it's easy. Oh. Goof off for the win. Yeah, like way easier. That was way easier. <laughs> Is it messing up the acrylic? No, I don't, I don't think know. so. All right, looks great. All right, let's glue this thing together now. it's in the right place well you might as well keep going might as well put the rest of it together right yeah might as well i mean we're almost done i didn't glue it anywhere near the holes so we should be fine look at it look at it that's what all i'm right. talking about yeah put all our stuff in it and my business cards Postcards. My brochures. See, now when all the postcards are gone, see the postcards have a QR code on them? Postcards have a QR code. And when all the postcards are gone, bam, there's the QR code with all the same information. That takes us, that takes you to our link tree. And this takes you to the Venmo. So. This, this one also takes you to the link tree. All so, right, so we took everything that you all see All this here. stuff. Yeah. Yeah, and really condensed it down. And this is way easier to move around too. Yeah. I love it. I'm I very it. excited. I'm happy with it. Yes, <laughs> I and I, I'm glad you came in with the late minute or the last minute <laughs> uh, change with the white. I think it works. Yeah, brightens it up, makes yeah. it happy. All right, we got the top of our booth. So, look at that. Just sits off to the side. We got plenty of room now. <laughs> So excited. Have you made yourself a social media sign with the QR code? Do you have one with a little square in there? Share what you have. Let me see what you made. And if you're going to make one, don't forget to come back and join us at our Kimmy Garrett Make It group on Facebook and show us what you made. We'd love to see your projects. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tick that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. And a big thanks to all of our patrons. That's the best way to support this channel. Join us over on Patreon where we have an after show. 
So we are about out of time. And if you're not going to join us for the after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And this, I don't know if I want to balance that. I'm not going to attempt it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. It's like the first time ever. <laughs>